Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lab here. Just a little vlog video. I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind lately. And, uh, I don't know, maybe get a little discussion going. I think the most overlooked problem in a lot of houses is um, a gas range, gas stove, if you have gas in your house. You know, everybody is, oh, if you got a gas furnace, you know, you got you, you might have a cracked heat exchanger, you're going to die. And um, if it's cracked, and well, that's that thing's vented into the chimney. You know, if you got a crack, yeah, you might get a little, you might get some CO in the house, but sometimes it's not as bad as a stove. Now, a stove, most of the time that I see in apartments and stuff, you know, they're not even vented. They're not even vented outside. They're vented right into the room. And um, stoves give off high CO if we're not checking them, you know. And we as, you know, gas uh, fitters and plumbers, if you got a gas license, you hook up a gas stove. Um, not many guys check them with a combustion analysis, see what they're putting out for uh, parts per million. In my experience with gas stoves, um, they pump out a lot of CO. And the manufacturer says anything anything below 100 is acceptable. Well, I see them with, you know, five, 600 parts per million pumping out all the time when, they, when they're on bake. And uh, it's something, we, you know, it needs to be talked about. And uh, gas range is something that we overlook. We all go check the boilers and the furnaces, which is which we need to do. Um, but you know, the gas stove is something that you guys really need to think about. If they got a gas cooking range in the house, you need to check that. I find a lot of times that you know the gas there's little there's little air dampers on there. Them things that like partially close a lot of times. They're like half open. I have found in my area. Uh, your best to do is open those air dampers up all the way. You got to check it with your meter. Check out with your combustion analysis. Try to get it as low as you can uh, with your with your Testo 320 or whatever you're running. But I just wanted to do a little video because uh, I've been starting to check a couple. I'm going to be bringing videos of stoves and stuff. And um, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. You know, and a homeowner wouldn't have a combustion analysis meter to check it. So we as technicians... Uh, HVAC guys or heating guys, whatever whatever you want to call yourself, you need to talk to the homeowner. I should check that stove while I'm here, see what that thing's pumping out. Just a little discussion. What, what do you guys think about it? Have you run into any of it? A lot of back in the day, you know, you'd look at the gas flame. Oh, it looks clean. It's not burning smoky. It's fine. No, oh, you need to put a combustion analysis in there and see what's going on. Anyway, just a little discussion. Let me know what you think down with the comments down below. Just raising awareness. Put vents outside, which is good. Let me check it. I'm checking the stove right now. Make sure. What's good about this is it's got the hood. So when they run the stove, they need to run that hood to get rid of the fumes. I'm going to check it. Put it on bake. Stove. 
see if I can make some adjustments. Can't run it like that. Alright, you know? open up the air band down below, give it more air. It's dropping now, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, open up the air band down down below, so. <laughs> Let's see. They were coming down. This is the number you're okay. The top one. Oh, the third one down. Oh, the one, two, yeah. 185. See that 185? That's what we're looking for, that parts per million uh, oh. CO. Not the free air one. Yeah, yeah. We get that down. Usually they usually they say under 100 is um, acceptable. I like to get it lower than that. I might have to put a regulator down in the basement. We'll see it for how long it goes. It's dropping. You guys see that air band right there? I had to open that up all the way. Usually that's like halfway open. I had to open it up. You usually open them up as much as you can. It's a brand new stove too, so there might be a little bit of residue from the burn off. Oh, yeah, but it does, uh, it's coming down now. We're we're we're, uh, we're 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 below 60 now, so that's better than oh. that's better. Need to run this hood when they whenever they run this they got to run the hood okay no. tell them or Brand new stove, you know, giving off that high CO like that. Isn't that crazy? It's the best I'm going to get it right there unless I put a regulator down below. Oh, the ambient was, was closed partially. Run this, let's run this side over here and see what happens. I want to burn my meter. It's acceptable levels. Well, we're 500. Alright, that's the best it's gonna get right there. 32. 
can't forget that. What piece of place was it at? Right in the camera. She's going to give you guys. Yeah, as long as they run this this vent when they run it, it'll be okay. That's it. Where's this gonna go? Let's open all the way. Brand new stove might be giving off a little bit of smoke too, you know?